I'm sorry I'm late. Me and technology. We used to be friends when I was young. <laughs> it's over now. <laughs> <laughs> when you were young, I love how you used like 30 years ago. Or no, yeah, when you were young, it's been that, a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said 30 I years know. is a long time. But geez, you were, yeah, okay. that's true. Well, when I was like 12 and technology was just starting, I hit a 300 baht modem. <laughs> and I was best friends with tech, and now I like, you I were. can't even get my audio to go to the right device. <laughs> That's because tech is all different now. I know, and I didn't keep up, so that's why yeah, I'm yeah. missing. Hi. I'm V, and I'm missing. And I am Violet, and I am apparently the only face <laughs> for this podcast, if you're watching it. You're Violet. <laughs> I mean, I'm Ask Betty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's amazing. <laughs> for a second, I was, I I was looking at that, purpose, and I was like, And waiting. then I was like, no, I don't think you did it on purpose. And I was like, oh. No, because then my brain went, in my brain, I was like, oh, she's doing the next talking. So I heard Violet in my head. So I said, and I'm, and I was like, oh, Violet is doing that. And I said it. And I was like, Violet. Oh, my God. Do you, did you watch, Ro and, did you watch the first Anchorman, Rod And Burgundy? I turned my mouth off. Um, yeah, where he just kind of says whatever is in the. That's like his judge is that he yeah. always reads what's on the teleprompters. That was a very Ron Burgundy <laughs> thing to do. <laughs> like, was like, like, it said I'm Violet. So <laughs> I said I'm Violet. <laughs> We are a real life brother and sister. <laughs> and yes. we are both totally obsessed. <laughs> yes. Totally obsessed with all things reality TV. Welcome to season two of our weekly reality rundown, where we talk about all of our favorite shows. What's on your feed, Acid? Shit. Okay. <laughs> well, it's been two weeks. Uh, yes. And, you know, in two weeks, things got interesting. So now I feel like I should just, like, cut off the, the said boring, but it's not said boring. I can, I can report that Bad vs. Wild, bless you, had a Natalie Nunn and the Jocelyn's Cabaret rematch. Oh, okay. Because it ended with Jocelyn basically reaching across and slapping Natalie in the face. And then they started fighting. And that was, like, the end of the first one. That's, like, how the first one ended, basically. I mean, the first one continued. Continued, but it didn't continue after that because and so this one was better except <clears throat> i kind of stopped watching it because jocelyn was very uh bobby lights she was very like as far forward on the stage and just screaming and hollering no matter what they were trying to do and be like okay great let's move on move on she's like ah, rah, rah, rah. no i'm gonna tell you this i'm gonna tell you that you know she was very like it got too much like jocelyn was like just shut up girl and she's like okay no we're gonna play no we're gonna play yeah we're gonna play right we agreed to play we're gonna play yes bitch move off the stage let's play you know it was very much like she has to be in control but she doesn't know how to keep control it's very weird. Um, but more interesting is uh, the baddies Caribbean has started. Okay. okay. And of course, now it's not one episode, it's two episodes. So I've seen two. And probably my favorite addition is not only do they have a huge cast, but my favorite addition is I thought that they were going to have someone like Nene Leakes, which was a high and bye, which they do. But she doesn't say bye. And it's Aubrey O'Day. Stop right now. Aubrey O'Day says hi. And then she goes with them. What? And there is a moment. I'm telling you, this is the best addition because there's a moment where there's like a fight, right? And the one girl's like crying or whatever. And she's sitting there and she's like, don't you uh, feel bad for the girl, you know, for, for her because she's crying? No, I don't, I don't. I'll feel bad. She's like, really? You don't feel bad? And then they cut to Aubrey's like, you know, when she's talking, she's like, oh my God, in a split second, I could have got beaten up because I felt compassion for this girl and she was like i'm just learning the rules in this house and i was like it was so interesting to have like let's say a normal person ironically saying that about aubrey o'day because she doesn't fight so it's so interesting to well, see because her, in her in mind she's like she's used to being insulated she's used to being in a world where her right. celebrity kind of saves her from things like people have like this barrier and she's so like i thought oh up in here they don't give a fuck but when it first like the first episode i thought that's what it was because a fight kind of broke out and they had three guys kind of surrounding her and it was very nene leaks you know like protect me but then when they got on the plane or whatever and landed in their first destination oh no Aubrey was with them and then shit went down and she was very much just like and you could see her reasoning and talking with the girls and I'm like oh this is the best because she's like oh I'm just discovering that you're you guys are a different kind of girl it's very like oh my gosh you're giving me flashbacks of like the early days of Jerry Seinfeld I mean ew no not him Jerry Springer <laughs> Springer I do that all the time yeah where I it was like up. you could tell that he was coming from this place of I'm you know like, like white savior like right. I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna say hey girls have you ever this thought about right. it this way yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you now hug it out. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. That does not work. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, she is gobsmacked. So I want to tell you that is such a fun kiki. Oh, even just that is the show, right? For you. You're like, yes. Yes. <laughs> for real. Because No, I love that. Because I thought she was just going to be like, again, that addition thing to where we see her only a bit because she's shocked by the drama. But then to see her, yes, shocked by the drama, but then her trying to interact with the girls and then them giving her some space. Do you know what I mean? Like in the show for her to be like, I'm trying to navigate myself through these girls, but I have never been around these kind of girls before. Well, and she's also trying to stay to her a brand, right? So she needs to be like doing her whatever honey. physicality. Yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, honey. Oh my god! But it's so the- much fun, and I hope they stick. They like. I hope they do that. Like, I hope they like inject more people, or they stick with that because it is such a key key, dude. You know, because the baddies now are just as pumped. They're just as beautiful. All the wigs and this and that, so they can okay, hang. So- you know, so her and Aubrey, they all look the same. Do you know what I mean? Where's Aubrey? You don't know because they all yeah. are gorgeous, right? So that's what's a key key. So it's just like now it's like, oh shit, Aubrey's like, hold up, I'm the celebrity in the house. Like, Hell, no, I'm Natalie Nunn. But like, you know, taking off the wigs, craziness, girl, craziness already. I love that though because bitches have come for natalie nunn i mean that's why you watch it right yes and they don't take them <laughs> off it's like this bitch comes for natalie nunn a new girl and she's like i'm gonna ruin your night and i'm like that's it you're off the show and then she's like on the show this set the next week i'm like ooh, <laughs> and they fly her to the next destination i'm like oh they want the drama they want the drama so um there was that i'm gonna skip relative race it's on but oh you know, wait it doesn't minute. Matter. before you leave what? zeus just okay. because i had a shout out we yeah. did not watch uh, Rolly's makeover because no, we're squeamish and it's still going but I have already seen the after photos and I just wanted to shout out because honey, wow, wow honey she looks wow 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 like I, it's wow. so weird because <laughs> I know I saw before and after and I'm kind of like embrace I'm like the, I'm I like the, I'm like the devil and the angel because I'm very much like oh no embrace what you got and then when I see the after I'm the devil of like oh bitch you should do that and when I saw the after, I was just like, okay, I see, I get, like, I don't, I hate all the surge, all the ideas, but now that we're here, I love it. Oh my God, but now that we're here, her body, that's my point. Her the, body, what they did to her, her body, gave her shape. The shape that so they gave her. Good. Okay, I didn't so, realize she was a Rolly until, you know. That's why I know. That's why they said Rolly Poly. I didn't realize she was so round until you see yeah. it. And it's like, oh, girl, now you got, like, and the shape of a woman. And you also appreciate that. Roly Poly was like I have friends like this where like literally she was like built with that ball shape which yeah. means by the time you got to her booty she started to, like she never she didn't even have a booty it was all the, all the actual heavy was in the middle and yeah. then it started to get narrow again so like those they literally gave her they, a new body whoop. yeah they did and and of course her face everything just but she's but even just gotten her rid of her little chin oh she looks so yeah, good yeah no she looks so good so I just wanted not to interrupt but before you love Zeus I but just yeah, wanted but, to mention but that's, but that's the tea is that a lot of of them have gotten a lot of work done so obviously this show is doing very well hello yeah good because they are starting to look really good because there's no difference between them and the uneducated people i know on rodeo you know what i mean uh yeah hello they're more interesting um and then yeah so i said Agreed. and then i finished by the way it doesn't matter but the last 20 minutes of unlocked the jail experiment oh okay so i watched and i say oh yes he's gonna continue and you said that you their friend or whatever said that there's another season but i looked online and there there's no word of it netflix has yet to even say if they're gonna do another season so i know where i don't know what that he's information talking about. okay um, but he's in a different country and i but i live that tiny th- got yeah. out of jail yeah me Ugh, too. i hate seeing the aftermath of jail because we suck as um american but whatever other well conversation. And, and the fact that they keep them on because you, you already know it's not like they're free right no i know that like, hello they're always like oh i don't know if anyone ever just gets out and they're out i feel like now it's like you're out but you're actually on probation and we're gonna do everything we can mm. to make sure we get you in here every 10 years you can't do any like you have no voting nothing you can't do anything yeah it's all kinds yeah of and we're gonna fuck with shit. you because we actually the system's actually built put you fuck back here you. yeah yeah we don't we don't actually want you to be free you motherfucker how dare you get out it feels exactly. that way i know and then i've been keeping up with milf manor which is like my you new already obsession. Know I have been, so I'm glad that obsessed, you're talking about it. Obsessed. Obsessed. Because I our ho- favorite girl is back. <laughs> obsessed. 
And also, I love the dads. So I was like, I hope that this is the new formula that they do, like the son and dads. Because the mom and sons, Eh. dad and sons, okay. I'm I'm not mad at it at all. Like, this is working. I love it. I like this. So that was it. I just want to be like, I love this. I love the formula. I love that our bitch is back. All the way. I love that she's back. I like that she's back with kind of a new a little new sense about her i love the first thing she do is she do is screaming for her son to make sure he's not there which is adorable <laughs> i mean oh so I funny know. the whole thing was amazing i love i her. love i still love barbie barbie's my favorite <gasps> me too but i love that she's giving a run for barbie i love that barbie thought she had a run me too Ha-ha. me right not you don't this run time, this time barbie yeah. but watching them together is gonna be so fantastic fun. yeah because good TV. honestly the tea that just came out about the girl that i disliked from the moment i saw her please get rid of her and keep the og barbie we, we can only have one barbie in the house at a time and I there's don't another barbie, barbie. My barbie i mean barbie doll as in blonde tan fake boobs pink. oh right i think only one can exist at a time and that's the og you need to get the other one out because i didn't like hers from the second she opened her mouth and even the way she holds herself she's gross the fact that she rolls in there with her with a boyfriend after and then she says that she's had a change i almost feel like she didn't have a change of heart until she decided that she didn't actually like anybody but if she liked someone she would have just gone on and there would have been no boyfriend i see what you're saying because they've already been there how long now? And then she's like, oh, I'm not really feeling it. You were feeling it like literally two days ago. But now that you've talked to everybody and you're not actually feeling anyone, you think your boyfriend's maybe better than all of them. Um, Love that. Love that. Okay, yeah, so, so okay, so that's all I, on my feed. What's on your feed? Yeah, well, speaking of celebrities uh, that have a sense of barriers and all kinds of things that they've become accustomed to, I've been watching something called Love Undercover. What is that? <sighs> You have four uh, of the most famous soccer there's so, players. There's so many love shows, and you find them all. Like every time, sorry, every time it's a reel, you're like three more random fucking love shows. I'm like, where? How many? Anyway, okay. So four or five. Okay, it's so. the algorithm because it's not like I have to look for them. They're like, hi. But we also, just, they're oh, making like, we them. Just, they're and yes, and I'm you know, not alone, obviously, because I yeah, I'm not a freaking Nielsen family, so someone's watching them with me. Like, Love damn. Undercover, four men, I think, whatever, it doesn't matter how many. Um, they're all like super, super the most famous in the world celebrity soccer players. Football. Okay, football. But in America, right. no one knows who the fuck they are because we're Americans, we don't watch, and we're in a, our own system of everything. <laughs> So they bring these men to L.A. and they have them meeting love like they're on a dating show. But they're setting them up with girls from L.A. and they gave them jobs like you're a construction worker. Oh, basic jobs. Right. And you have some of the most beautiful. These girls are on a television show. So you can imagine, right? They're like all zhuzhed with the boobs and the bodies and the face. Everything is like utter perfection. You already know what they're shopping for. And they're like, so what do you do? And they're like, you know, I. Bartender. No. It's like literally one step. One guy, girl literally said, I don't think I could be with a construction worker. And I'm like, oh, you're going to be pissed when you find out what these, these guys are yeah, only yeah, basically what they like really do. billionaires. The only reason, honestly, I watch a lot of this shit, as you know. The only reason it's on my feed for us to talk about is because of that constant through line that these men are really struggling with the fact that they are, with the exception of one of them, they're really normal looking. The first two episodes, they have the girls coming into an empty room and there's just photos. And so only one of the guys gets picked by everybody, every single girl, Mm. (laughs) because he's like this really hot UK, you know, you can just tell the, he literally looks like a model in the photo. Every, every girl chooses him. There's this like older guy (laughs) and he literally gets pissed by the second episode says he's going to leave. Oh no. Because he's like, no one's ever going to pick me. I'm a dad. But he's like, I remember when I was young, like these lads and I had the body and he's like, I'm older and I have the dad body. He's like, like, usually women come to me, but now I don't know what to do. And they've taken my personality out of it, too. And I was like, kind of right. I felt bad for it. Damn. But also, it was like, I like that all of you are getting a little sense of reality because this is the T. This is where how you actually stack up in the world. Without money, yeah. Without your celebrity and your money and your power. It, it's, it, it's, it's interesting to watch. Mm-mm-mm. So that's Love Undercover. It's still going. I'm interested okay. to see how it goes. I mean... They do, I feel Love like they changed the, yeah, they, they changed the um, format a little bit where, and it felt like it was in response to that man's, his response to saying, I'm leaving the show. <laughs> 
Um, because then they all put them in like some bar experience whereby they each walk in and introduce themselves. They have to use a pickup line or something. And they're all joking about Liam, which is the good looking one. <laughs> they're like, all he has to do is go, hi, my name is Liam. <laughs> That's all yeah. he has to say. And you know what's amazing about that is that he literally, his pickup line is, <laughs> hi, I'm Liam and I'm from the UK. So I like tea. <laughs> And they all just look up at him like no one gets it because they're all kind of these vapid L.A. girls. They don't right. even get that like, he's being dry. And then he says to the camera privately, he says, even what's small cringe is I don't even like tea. <laughs> I was like, oh what the God. fuck? I like coffee. It's like, That's so weird. Liam, my man. Anyway, it's cute. It's on Peacock if you want to check it out. Peacock. Okay. Yeah. With all, <laughs> they're just, they churn them, they churn them, they churn them out. Apparently. Damn. <laughs> Okay, so then also, have you watched it all, the Challenge All-Stars? I haven't caught up. I haven't seen like the last week or two, I think, but I have been watching it. I mean, it reads just like all the other challenges, so it's not like I have anything really special to say. However, something about this particular challenge, maybe it's because it's such a throwback. Like they have guys that are, you know, from like our 20s and stuff. They're there now in their 50s and shit. Their soundtrack is so the hotness. I just wanted to shout out to the soundtrack. (laughs) You are showing your age so hard. Like, so I just good. don't know what it is. It was like, girl, because it's your music, bitch. You no, just I know said it. I love it. No, it's I love straight it up every is episode. No, the because 90s I forget. soundtrack of our childhood. It is like no, our childhood odd. soundtrack. And I love it. Because there's me, shit. Yeah, there's so many songs. And I forget. I forget. That's why, that's why it's so good. Won't you take me higher? Just stupid songs. Well, You're well, like, even, okay, or even yeah. after like, one of the challenges, one of the dudes won. <laughs> And he's like, you know, he's like, uh, whatever, he's older. And he's like, I can't believe I'm doing this, blah, blah. And he wins something. And, you know, he's like out there doing like the running man and Roger Rabbit. And then they play some hard ass like 90s rap behind it. I was like, get out the challenge. Like, bring me back. I love it. Yeah, it's very I love MTV. It. It's good. MTV does that. Well, they're good with music, obviously. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> I wanted to send you something and get your opinion on something. Okay. So we were talking about makeovers and shit. So, you know, Starcy and Darcy or Stacey and Darcy from 90 Day Fiance, they get read really hard online, like super for hard. filters? For all kinds, for everything. I, don't, I feel like these girls could like literally stop the filters and just live their life and people like, you're drinking that coffee? You know, it's that. They're just, <laughs> people love to hate them. <laughs> but there's a particular yes. guy that <laughs> loves to like punch down. We don't follow him, but he comes up in my suggested all the time. So I, I don't miss it. And he threw out this photo i literally couldn't tell you because he doesn't say i don't know if it's stacy or darcy i can can see it from here and i'm just wondering and i said i said like an i said the other photo in like what they're normally would project out versus what he sent and i was just curious as my graphic design expert brother is that is that manipulated did someone do that to her face or is that legit where she looks like when the filter isn't on oh you mean blowing my mind jocelyn no that's um I don't even think that's her. No, it is her. Okay, then that's manipulated. Because that's not possible, right? Like a filter cannot... I... Well, no, that... Well, what that... Yeah, no, this is something funny. I mean, just look at the top of her head and her hair. There's like all kinds of squiggly hoogly booglies. Something's going on in here. So someone... They did it, right? I don't know what They did that... Because someone did... Uh, he did that to... Um... Yeah, oh, and I the necklace... The necklace goes into the chin. Okay, thank you. I need... Well, I need help seeing that. See, sometimes. like the necklace okay. goes into her neck and it goes into her chin instead of rounding it should up. go down do you know what i mean yeah. so there's so there was like a there's okay. a tool where you can suck everything in which would make the chin come down if she, he like puts it you know what i mean that reminds me well, someone sent me a similar yeah, no. meme of the girl no, that claimed, bitch, they look, look like 23 26 years old they, no, look they do they look. look yeah i just need a confirmation okay <laughs> And that brings us to... No, they tried to make that look like um, Jocelyn, the cat woman. That's right. what I mean. Like that, that's like okay. very... That's why I was like, well, that's reminiscent of her. And that's what well, I mean. That they tried to the make it look I, like her. I think the, that's well, her the reason name. I asked is I because someone had sent me a fucked up photo that someone could clearly manipulate. It looked like they used like the smudge tool. And it was that girl from Love is Blind that I told you about. Because I know you don't watch the, the show, but I told you about her. And she refers to herself as uh, Megan Fox. And someone took a picture of Megan Fox and like used the smudge tool, and they were like, "This is what Megan Fox would have to do to look like that girl." And they like was they so made her really up. sad, like with a sad face. Well, no, they like took it and made her like the Joker. Oh, okay. They pulled her chin down and they pulled her face Got up it. because this girl doesn't look like Megan Fox. She looks so. When I saw this photo, it was reminiscent of that, like the shape that they went. They're always going in that uh, almost like who's the the guy from Saw? What's his name? Puzzle Jigsaw. 
Jigsaw. Is that his name? Jigsaw? Like that look. Wah, wah, stupid. Wah, wah, wah. That brings us to the goat. Uh-huh. That's it. They just did a three episode drop. Three drops of poopoos. Okay. What'd you think? That was it. I saw it. I watched it. And I will, I watched it because I know, you know, my favorite roommate was on it. So I had to see <laughs> what that was going to be like. Uh, yes. Um, uh, Obsessed. Yeah. And I, you know, I'm always, I am very curious about how, you know, because Alyssa is kind of like manic in her personality. So you never know who you're going to get. So I was so curious as to who she was going to be. You she know? is really trying hard, which I'm like, bitch, you go. You go hard for that. Like she's, she's actually doing competing well. physically. Yeah. And she's the only one that sees someone for what who they are. So I have I do not like Day. I have I have not liked her since Big Brother. When Alyssa called her out, I was like, "Oh my god, of course Alyssa is the one that sees the tea." What that the bitch is like just a manipulative girl, not a real human being or whatever. When she's like, you know what? Go ahead and take all this and yeah. walk with it. I'm like, oh shit. Someone might, actually sees her. It might fuck with Alyssa though. It might get her voted off the island. I know, but I'm glad it was called out. Yeah. And Jill Zarin is up in the kitchen trying to outcook yeah, the real chef. It. And Jill Zarin's good. there. Did you notice that she tried to outcook the chef though? No, I didn't. Yeah, and then there's even a moment where he's like, what's in there? She's like, oh, like she him away. Like, oh, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. I didn't see all that. And then and she's like, you know, tech. I consider myself the Jewish grandmother of the house and i'm like you literally oh, shushed an right. actual chef out of your kitchen girl that is very uh, bubby of uh, you <laughs> yeah so i mean if you're doing something that is of culture they can no, do that no i think she was like making mashed potatoes or but something. yeah but something like that no. <laughs> she wasn't making but do you know what i mean oh no you're right you're right oh wait i take it back because you're right i think she this might have been the night she was doing passover and you can't right. be fucking with bubby there when you she's go. in the See? kitchen doing passover thank you so the exa- All right, I thank re- you. rewind. Thank you. That's why I said you have yeah, someone who's cooking. I right rewound it. I had to remember. Bubby right. just smacked me in my face. So I remember. Yeah, it. I was like, no, hold up. Yeah, you. No chef can come and be like, well, what about raisins <laughs> or whatever? You know. Why don't you put some onions up with those latkes? Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 right. Shit like that. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's so amazing. She, yeah. So she was That was doing. all I got. I'm ready to go. Rock and roll. Work it out. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited that Tech's on there and I'm excited there's a few other people. And my favorite, the original colors, is on there. Colors, uh, Paula. Yeah. With all of her blondie hairs. I didn't recognize her. <laughs> Me either. I was just thinking. But then she spoke and I was like, oh yeah, it's Paula. I would be like one of them. I can't remember. I was like, I would probably be like them where I would be like if they were in the room because I'm good at recognizing people. My brain would just be like, I think I know you. And it would take me a minute because the blonde hair. I was like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> and the minute I clocked it, I was like, I live for her. Like, I well, no, you know, know what? I love luckily, her. Luckily for me, so die hard that like, I've seen a lot of pillow talks. And during the over the years when she was still with her mans. Right. She changed her hair color a lot, and okay. she would always go really extreme, like full on aerial red. And like, so I just got used to being able to switch her out. So it was like just a couple minutes of her sit, you know, speaking, and I was like, oh shit. Okay. Yeah, well, I had to see her face and talking. I was like, oh, that's oh, I love her. That's one of my favorite girls. So anyway, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm, Atisha, about the I'm sorry, honey. You were boring on The Bachelor. You're boring now. Bye bye. We'll see. I heard some tea. tisha has gone already. Okay. I'm talking about the girl that left because she didn't want to lie to her friend Grocer Joe. They're oh, from right. The Bachelor. Got it. But I'm saying, oh, you're so sweetsy beatsy. This is a game. Get yourself <laughs> some Tiffany Pollard up there. Uh, Tiffany can't do everything. She has I another know, show. She can't be everywhere. <laughs> she has another show I saw. Literally, I saw her on another show. I have to find it again. Well, don't forget, there's another there episode she was. of The Villains coming up, honey. Where she's, yeah, where she's coming. Her and Candy. Muse. Uh, Shall be interesting. Interessante. We're talking about our favorite franchise, 90 Day Fiance, and its spin off, Love in Paradise. It's season four, and we are going to cover two episodes, three and four. And in these episodes, Luke tells Madeline that he's broke. Annie tells Kyle that it's her or the sperm donations. Alex tells Adriano it's her or the threesomes. And Aaliyah is like, Papa, don't preach. Girls just want to have fun and shop. (laughs) And we actually start in a shop, Madeline's shop. And I'm telling you, I did not expect to start ever an episode with Madeline being like, oh, this is my business. Here we are. In something that is fully realized. Look, he he didn't make it. It's there. He paid for it. But she it she made like it's there. I get that. 
Good for her. Good for a little girl. She made a giant, you know, dollhouse for herself. And she made a big, a beautiful sign misspelled. With her name on it. That, but her name is on it. So that's yes. important. And that's and not misspelled. And she made sure that everything was misspelled. So at least it was misspelled everywhere. That's what I said to myself. I love her reaction because she really thought, I felt, you know what it felt like? You tell me. But it felt like when he says that about the spelling, when she looked at him and she's like, don't say that. <laughs> I felt like that wasn't really to him. She she was like so hyper aware that they were on camera that she was like, don't, why are you pointing right. that out on camera as though no, as though the cameraman still wasn't going to be like <laughs> boop <laughs> yeah like look at the sign it's misspelled oh but forgiven because english second language yada yada right also i was like well that's what you get for doing an english name in another country that's weird but well i, mean, and I get that's it for, i get it well and they're clearly both of them are on their own <laughs> yeah we have our but i mean i was sort of impressed but not because again he paid for it i was just and i feel like she's just kind of like in the situation is very much like you're gonna pay for my things and it just felt like she just had this dream of herself and so whatever it costs that's what it is and the dream is like i'm gonna look pretty and i'm gonna have a song that makes other pretty and okay so i don't care if it makes money oh no or not. she look i've owned businesses i've had a brick and mortar and it was very reminiscent it was just funny because she was like i made boss the beach and you know she's like sitting behind that her little area but when they broke down the numbers and she was like 20 clients i was like so yeah. that means you've literally physically sat there and waited for a someone to walk in and not even someone walked in once a day for 30 days straight yeah damn i wrote girl. that down as well that's crazy i mean concern that's why i said this is just like a theater for you or just like you were like this is how i think of who i am just pay for it you know no, i have a I storefront that. I, and i have a salon but it's not someone once told me that like there are two different kinds of people that like that go into business and she i think she was complaining about an old vis business partner of hers or whatever but basically she was like yeah i had this business partner and i thought we were going to be working and building this thing together she's like but really she just wanted to wear a suit and bring a suit and walk around with a suitcase or a yeah whatever that's called briefcase briefcase that's what it feels she's like, like. she just wanted it, to be but she just behind, wants to she play wanted to be behind the counter and be like look my name's here and i make people pretty and i answer the phone made the yeah. beauty whatever yeah and who Aww. cares about numbers well who because cares my about boyfriend's actual, well, my hey. boyfriend's job is keeping the salon open she even said that it the only thing that's keeping the salon open is the job that he just lost i know which <laughs> is so amazing uh that's it. And to her, it doesn't, she doesn't even add, oh, so I better start working and making money. And then he says, I have written down in bold, only has two to three months ready to like rock and roll. Yeah. Well, he keeps on saying that. Yeah. They just have $10,000 to like live. What did you think and, about? Which uh, is a nice amount of money, but not if you're traveling to Columbia and back to two and four and paying for a salon. And having uh, manufacturing. And his, <laughs> his sunglasses. <laughs> This is moving on to the next one. Thirty-seven to forty dollars a piece it cost. I did the math. I did the math too. I that's had a lot the of units, by the way. Three hundred <laughs> for initial order when you're relying on a brand. Well, on a brand, it's a lot. If Who you does don't he think know. he? <laughs> it's a lot if it's at forty dollars each, and that's what I mean. Like it's a like it's like he said he had a designer make them. What is happening? And what's funny to me, though, is I had a pair of glasses like that when I was a kid. So for him to be like, so oh, they he. fold up and this and that. And it was just <laughs> so like, did he. but there's nothing new about this or you're right. in trouble. That's like my friend that said that had the the invention of the, the little purse that wraps around your waist, right? <laughs> That, yeah. Right. Good that invention. scares me. I think I've seen it before. <laughs> but to be honest. Like 20 years a, ago. <laughs> $11,000 is not a lot of money. Do you know what I mean? For someone who, I've, you know, on Shark Tank, people put in 100000 put a mortgage up on their house. You know? so It's for a lot the, of money when I think about. It's a lot of money about... when he's doing that times 10 because he has so many businesses. Okay. So they, the that's salon, where I was going. Thank you. The glasses. That's where I was going. The jewelry. And he said I have several. He said I have this, several businesses. The that. He calls them that's lottery tickets. And one of them's going to hit the lottery. He just knows it. That scares me. You know what that says to me as a fucking hustler? Honey, you need to like, someone needs to remove your computer at night because you're watching way too much of these get rich quick YouTube videos and you just keep buying into every single thing. Yeah. Stop. Because if they're making YouTube videos, they're not making money at what they're selling you. They're making money on the YouTube videos. Because I can tell you as someone that does some of those things, I'm not making YouTube videos. I'm doing the things. Duh. Honey. So funny. Yeah. So blah, blah. They go on a date. She gets her nails blah, blah. dirty. And she
and she's miserable the whole fucking time. Like the whole time. First right. episode, episode three and four. She's like Miserati on crack. And I just want to be like, this is going to be her because she ain't got no money. Right. So this is like colors and training. This is like colors training wheels right here. I okay. Hate it. This is how it starts. She's gross. <laughs> All for good She's not going to get any better. <laughs> She's not going to get know. any better. So anyway, so we did both episodes. Yeah. Well, next. speaking of gross, Fuck let's head into bitches. Annie and Kyle and Malta. Oh, you want to do them next? Okay. Well, I followed the order of the... F- I watched that order three. by accident. Who cares? Whatever. We can talk about whatever you want, but I figured right. gross. Annie and Kyle. Annie and Kyle. And moving on. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, so look. Okay, I, first I was, thing I, I wanted to mention. You know, I had to go through my notes because I said I watched yeah, my order. first thing I want to mention is that so like, I, I, okay. I, was, I was immediately confirmed, which kind of <laughs> made me giggle over here. Because she actually says to the camera, she's just not sure what the connection is, but she finds him so interesting because he's not boring and unpredictable. And I literally remember going, aha, I was right. I knew it. And that's going to be your downfall because you think that a man that's unpredictable and not boring is some, like, that's the trait. And I'm like, that is, could be a red. Sometimes you need a little dependable and predictable because that means they're normal. <laughs> they're part of society. Both episodes, at least three to four times, she's like, I don't like this or I don't like that about him. And basically it's... It's, you know, she's like, sees the red flags like flying by and she like acknowledges it and then keeps moving forward. I have so many things that like quotes that I just have written down because everything he says to me or things that she says, like their interactions are like possible titles for our episodes because they're all just so. Cr- I mean, I literally have you have a warm leg. Uh, why you always touch them? I don't know what I did there. <laughs> So later, all the way into episode like, four, because I did watch it, when he was like, finally, you've got enough points, and so now we can kiss. Oh, yes, yeah, there's that. There's that. And he was like, okay, this is One, awkward. One, two, things. three, go. All this, straight up, I was like, I was like, he went to the school of Timothy. I'm like, him <laughs> too, and Timothy it. are the same. <laughs> Me too. I thought of Timothy too. What the fuck, dude? Except he, except he was like, oh, no, I'm going to make this happen. But he was like, oh, are you going to breathe? Oh, are you going to step towards me oh wait are you gonna use your mouth okay wait and it was like everything was like shut what is going on and then by the way he says oh <laughs> then he says oh look at us we're like a power couple <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> he's psychotic from the way he was oh, like yeah. and uh, then, brushing well, her even hair better i like to wear it extra small to show off my curves and muscles Right, because he was talking about his dick. Because episode three, he was saying, because she was like, why are you doing touching yourself all the time? And he was like, oh, because I have to keep temperature down on my balls because it's well, I professional. Love she was like, wait, wait, do you remember how he was like, or she says, I'm not sure if it's his penis or his balls. And I'm like, think about what you're saying. Like, think about the conversations you're having with yourself and think about why you're dating this person. Yeah, like, he's these are just... Pro- psychotic and he's he's somehow made a life to where he's literally just focused about his dick and he loves it and this is the result by the way there's a whole thread actually not just one there's multiple threads on reddit all about why he holds his throat while he eats (laughs) you are not alone (laughs) you're not alone there's actually conditions i have i i think they cut it out the second time because he was like and he almost looks like he's choking when he's eating so they say that there are two possibilities and i say they meaning the world reddit that uh, that it's either psychological, clearly, like he has a disorder, or it's actually there is a medical disorder that you have a problem swallowing and it doesn't keep down or something. And he's like trying to keep his food down or something. He's but, shoveling but food down his mouth. The consensus, right? But the consensus is that he's a lunatic. Either way. Yeah, he's a loony. <laughs> like, either way, there are several threads. And again, I almost forwarded you something today because it's like. Once again, you've got 90 Day Fiance, like the Instagram account, and they'll do their little tease, like, watch tonight, and they'll have the little commercial, and there's Kyle making some comment, I love my castmates with a heart. <laughs> like, you're so weird. He's psychotic. He's literally just, con- like, he's disconnected. Did you see the little meme <laughs> that I made about him? I don't think so. Maybe. Oh, so you need to go, you need to start going and liking our stuff at our Instagram. And then maybe other people to. will do that too. <laughs> I, you're so shady. I do, and it, I do like. I made a funny little video. I even put soundtrack to is it. Is it of him cutting, the, of him brushing the hair? But there's volume. Oh, there's I like, didn't I mean, hear there's it. like a thing. And I even have Whoopi going, "You're a danger girl." <laughs> oh, I didn't hear it. Okay, yes. Because that's what it reminded me of. I was like, "What is happening?" It's so creepy. Yes. 
And she multiple times was like, like during a kiss or whatever, was like, she's, she says, oh, I realized, you know, he's like a boy or this and that. And I'm like, yeah, real like, r- girl, realize it, girl. He is like a child in his head. He's literally I mean, like yeah, an and like you always boy. say, not to skip forward, but we already know that they actually get, like, she actually does get enough points to get it in. And I'm like, why? <laughs> why? Did, it must I be like having that, sex with a cute me doll. Fuck the points. It didn't, it didn't make sense because then little the little one piece. morning he was like, oh, give me a kiss. And I was like, no points. She didn't have to get points for this little nip on the face. Well, she's doing a pregnancy test. These people are so weird. Goodbye. I wish I could do the <laughs> AOL voice. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Which brings us to well, Jesus. Want to give him oh, time. excuse me. Adriano and Alex. <laughs> Adriano and Alex. It's funny. Episode three, I have one bullet. And then episode four, I've got a, all kinds yeah, of Yeah, there's things. like nothing. There's nothing. Yeah. There's He wants a threesome. And then there's, do you believe in Jesus? <laughs> yeah. And I always like that. That always makes me laugh because these these self righteous motherfuckers want to come in with the you know you can't be doing threesomes, you can't have a polyamory, you can't have this, you can't have that. Well, these motherfuckers can't have premarital sex either, but somehow that's okay. I don't understand. How are you like? It's all the same. It's in the same, literally the same category. But you have because somehow you're okay with premarital sex. That's okay. It's this extension now that's made believe because they don't even talk to that in the Bible. Shut the fuck up. I really like yeah. the way he handled that. That's all I'm saying. I really yeah, like. Her- the way he handled it i don't like i never will like i'm sure religious people take offense to it but i never liked religious people using well, religion everybody right now i don't care as judging and the, my favorite part is when they say they're not judging when they are no matter if it's quote unquote god the book or whatever you're saying it's you boo boo you're bringing it up it's coming out of your flappy joints it's you she judges them the second she's like, oh, you don't pray before you eat? I'm like, oh. Dude, when she said that, I was just like, who are who are you? Yeah. Are you like Mama Jones over there? Because I was like, you know, I'll take that from some elder that doesn't know better, some 80-year-old uh, woman that's and, like from some back hills that no education. Right. But you look like you're educated and progressive. Are you serious right now? Right. I was like, do you believe in, do you know the wheel exists? We have running water, lady. Oh, damn. Well, seriously, come on. Under his eye. There, under his eye, okay. Again, if you're there, then talking snake bitch run because get out of here get the fuck out of here and she annoys the shit out of me because then there's a close-up of her and she ends it with you know bullet point drinking where he's like well he's gonna be having threesomes until his dick falls off or yeah you know this and that and i was just like well how convenient that someone who doesn't believe in any of that stuff knows everything about nymphomania and threesomes like you seem to know everything so you know what's gonna happen right you just know the symptoms you know that if you want to have a threesome therefore you can't stop shut the fuck up so she makes this huge like you're in a I cult mean, you're in a cult no this is the thing we are over here agreeing because we're gonna make this statement about her but she's over here making these huge jumps about him yeah on one piece of information threesomes mean he's a total nasty slut and his dick's gonna fall off from like gangrene or something which is actually such he a wants to have three old, children that's really it just what he felt wants. like such an old 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 way of thinking and she comes in so hot with that and so like holier than thou with that. And then what kills me is fucking Alex is like, well, you know, I do have a relationship with the Lord. And I okay. have, and it's very important for me when my man to have a relationship with the Lord. It annoys the fuck out of me because they're in Italy or Greece or whatever, anywhere over there. You feel very close to if there is such a thing as God or any, because that all those, that is, it's like you're walking <laughs> back in time. And if you're back with these people who, who are there. And he's saying, I don't believe in it. Then it's time for you to move on, bitch. Because you're over here in the Americas, honey. And you don't believe anything the Native Americans believe. So He's literally get over at the place here. where... He looks like, like Jesus. He, he probably is related to Jesus. And she's like... I just like, don't like the expression. I mean, I, we're really on a tangent, but I don't like the... I don't like... You know, I don't like the expression relationship with. Because that implies that there is a two-way right. something and going that's on. that's psychotic. That means that you listen exactly. to your voices in your head and you think it's God. That's called psychosis, bitch. I have more of a relationship with my dog well, because he me. actually he he interacts with me and gives me feedback. Here's my thing about that, and I'll let it go. When he says, I don't believe in anything, and she's like, oh, my God, and freaks out, then you should be so excited because there's two differences. He is a good person because he's a good person. They are good people because they need the fear of God and have and devil shit nailed into their brains. Who's and that's better, what she said. Them or him. And she even it's acknowledged him. it. Because he doesn't need fear. He's actually a very good moral person. It's them. So if you're telling me that you're a Christian, oh, this, well, then I'm afraid of you, bitch. Because that means you need fear every day. And like, oh, my God, you're going to burn in hell to be a good person. Goodbye. 
lose me with that. I had this argument with someone years ago, and it was bad for them because I'm a philosophy major, so you can't be arguing about these things. I've already had these arguments too many times, and I know my philosophers existed before Jesus did, and he already had it all figured out. I don't. So I mean, if I if I had the ch- children, or you know, if you, if I was going to teach someone a foundation, I don't need when p- people say you need this singular thing. You know what I mean to teach you about the good and the bad. You actually don't need that. You just need a sense of humanity, morality, a connection yeah. to the universe and things around you. Hello. I don't need someone else to tell me that I shouldn't kill other living things. The Bible doesn't tell you, yeah, not to kill animals. Like, just don't kill animals. Don't hurt things. Like, don't kill people. Like, what the fuck? Oh, no, the Bible doesn't even tell you that. The Bible actually says it's the okay to kill animals. It. Yeah, I was say, the book does it. The book kills and murders and slaughters. You're saying you're doing it in worship of me. Of pers- I can't. Let's not break. The- Let's not go. Let's not do this. All right, so. That's what I was like. Goodbye. Uh, they're making pizza and talking bullshit about religion and children. Wah, wah, wah. I love the future the making indoctrination pizza. of the next generation. I love the making and pizza. We have moved on to Brazil. Because I'm over the religious bullshit. Where the people are beautiful and the booties are big. Yes. The people are beautiful. And you poor, know, poor Sean is stuck on the bench like most hetero men <laughs> holding the purse. And I did feel bad for him in that moment. And that is me not too. a girl thing. I think that's anyone that shops when you're not that's shopping. That's period. If you're the friend, That's not a gender whatever. thing. Rude of you to assume it's a woman thing. Shut up. Well, because he I was married. I have guy friends that shop more than me and I have well, an asshole on the bench. And he was saying because he was married for 14 years to a woman. And so he just associates it with her, I think. And also he's American. We have horrible well, stereotypes also, that no, we just love to bring later, up over and over and over again. So his real, what he associates, I think basically he just doesn't like being the one in the wing. Right. He wants his partner to be the submissive one. And Very Aaliyah is just so. a little too much individual Well, the words he him. was using in that regard was sad because he also s- said scared. And she caught it. And she was like, you want your partner to be afraid? That's what I wrote down. Yeah. That's some whack-ass shit. Shy, I'm timid, trying, and scared. I'm trying to allow space for this man. He says things that are like... Yeah, no. I would rather him just go, I don't like femininity. And then I'd be like, cool, I get that. Because I don't like it either. Moving on. But you're making it so much stuff. And the deeper he goes, the more he says the wrong thing. It's hard, yeah, because he's both. He says good things, bad things, good things, bad things. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. That's really all it was. The whole... whole both episodes are again. I know. I was gonna say them having cut this ahead, conversation. And then it was so slow, but it really cut to that. That's really all it was about. It was a conversation of Douglas is no more. She's Aaliyah, and he's like, yeah. "Well, I hope that I can figure that out." That's where we're at. <laughs> so they are the fucking Chantel. Is it Chantel? Family Chantel. Yeah, the Chantel of it, where it's like everyone else is like, "It's been months," and they're like, "Well, it's been a day." <laughs> Right, right, yeah. They've you had know? like one meal. Like it's like three days with them over like three months. Yeah, they've well, had kind one of meal. Malta too. Malta was like from the airport. By the way, just a throwback, real quick. Did you see how excited she was that he had jeans on? It was like, oh, you changed. She was like, was oh, you so look so awful. good. Look so good, and the jeans look so stupid. He looks so disgusting. <laughs> he really is a cupid doll. Him and Tim really and do. And also, when he was like, the only thing big on me is my dick. It was like, have you noticed your belly? Like, really? You need to pay attention, dude. Oh, see, I don't want to say things that I used to say, but I will. There's an old... Remember I, <laughs> remember I used to say uh, that dude's got Dunlap's disease? <laughs> and that means this is where your belly Dunlapped over your belt. Yeah. <laughs> right. And I also used to say that if you haven't seen your dick in a while, what makes you think I want to see it? <laughs> Well, and he's that looking at his that all little the belly time, is certainly so. not going to be resting on my head. You know what I mean? Like, no, no, no. No, he's oh, no, always, no. He's all about his penis. <laughs> I know, Let's which is confusing on. because he wears an extra small, and I have yet to know what that's about. From romance on the coast to drama on the beach, we're back to Survivor season forty-six. That's crazy because I remember anyway, and we're covering both what? episodes eleven, twelve, and starting with episode eleven. I'm just saying I remember in college when they created Season it and one? everything. So I'm like, <laughs> like well, I was well, yeah, well. like I was in my apartment. My friends helped with like the fucking challenges, like the producers. And now we're here at forty six. I'm like old and a total different place. It's crazy. Twenty days in, only nine days left, and now it's Kenzie's turn to cry because she didn't get credit for the move. I think. 
think this has got to be the most resume-centric season I've ever watched. Actually, it is the most idle, idle flush, wasteful show. Flush? They weren't flush. They were just not you. Like that's what I mean. Like they like yeah, that's what I mean. They were like literally. That is what this show is about. Is you get an idle, you're voted off. You get an idle, you're voted off. Everyone is crying, and there's just not enough clout for anybody. That's what I think. I think this whole sh- like show season is about getting an idol, and if you get it, and you don't use it. That someone's gonna have to. They're gonna have to say something about that. No oh, one yeah. has used their idol. I swear, Q was gonna use his idol this time just because finally someone was gonna use it. And well, we really went ahead. We're not even gonna. I know. Just already just in the- <laughs> and no, this is some shade. Honestly, we don't need to break it down like the episodes because Survivor no. doesn't really work like that anyway. I'm just saying, like overall, you know. So overall, it was interesting to see the emotional because these two episodes were quite emotional back to back, and it's interesting to see like. For example, our little Maria, mm. the ride that she goes on from the top to the bottom to the top. Yeah, to the well, it sucks because I guess I saw these two, and then by the twelfth, like the, by the t- episode twelve, and she's all crying and upset, and I was just kind of like, "Sorry, bitch." Well, let's talk about the irony of so how the- she's crying because she felt judged by Venus, and then Liz is comforting her. It's like, but you were judged because you were a dick to Liz, and Liz is the one comforting you. Yeah, that blew my mind. I thought it was funny before they start looking for the idol anyway that Venus was like, I know this island better than anyone else. <laughs> I mean, she had some good points where she was like, I know where this person, that person's found the idol, you know, but this, but it was like, yeah. girl, who, like shenanigans with the bet, really girl? How do you know? Shenanigans because there are still places you can hide from me in my own yard. Hello. And this is not an I island. I know this island better than any. It was like, girl, Venus, right. breathe. Okay. Well, something this small you could <laughs> fucking put in the corner or tree of my yard and it might take me and that's no island so shut up bitch yeah no she had quite a little ego on her we we didn't like her from the beginning i know that you especially didn't like her from the beginning yeah and i think it's funny in episode 11 they're gunning for maria and then she wins a second time and gets the immunity and the pizza delivery shit and i was like girl honey you're gonna have a mute like you're gonna have a target on your ass you better keep Dude, winning. She, oh my god! It was like she just came out of nowhere, right? It was yeah. Like first, she came out with a strategy. But when she did that, and it was rock, like Whoa. paper scissors bullshit. And then, oh, okay. Uh-uh. So you take Liz, girl. Liz goes because Liz hasn't eaten. Liz can't eat. Right? That was the thing. And for you to be like between Q and Liz, ugh, it's because Q's her like yeah, right hand man. Okay, so but by the hell, way, come on, Gina. <laughs> I literally wrote. I would, Liz Maria hasn't eaten is enough evil. to form even a pebble poop. <laughs> but go ahead and take Q. Yeah. And then Q's argument. Do you remember what his argument was? Take those that haven't eaten. Because it pissed eaten. me off. He didn't even say that because that's uh, not true. I he know. Has. Doesn't mean he has. But. His argument was, well, you know, I've lost weight. And I was like, oh, yeah, bitch, you weight. are on Survivor and you're also a big man. You should be. You should have lost weight the, the first night because you're what? Eating how much? How You know what I mean? Like a guy like that is like eats. Shenanigans. How much a day? Shenanigans. Right. So his excuse. And then it just pissed me off because she didn't have to say what she did. I hate it when people do that. And she hit my pet peeve because she did that. She was like, well, I'm going to choose the people that need to eat. And then she immediately found a, a way to go back on that. I was like, why'd you say chose that? chose the guy that ate. If you're going to be strategic, just be strategic, bitch. Yeah, and they... they- call her out on that basically yeah and then she cr- and then she cries about it and liz is the one comforting her that's why i was like oh my god this is what i mean not to this is why i hate day from fucking the goat because she pulled shit in the big brother that everyone seemed to no one seemed to notice or remember or hold against her because she was part of the first all black alliance and the all black winning of big brother but no one seems to remember that she was the first person to sell out her fucking alliance like two times and i know her already she showed herself real quick here it is again and Maria's like, hi, I will cut you. I'll eat you. I'll do whatever I got to do. And they're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Poor Maria. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Did you notice the timing of that? They literally timed her not getting her letter from home. It was like, like what was that? The week of Mother's Day? It and then that, like, was wow, the that was the episode 12. Yeah, that was the next episode. Mm-hmm. But that was the episode as, um, when I said, I don't care about you, Maria. I was like, Maria's being dramatic. <laughs> and I was like, whatever. I didn't like the pull on uh, Jeff died Gordon, you know, the today. relationship. That's what she said. Something died in me today. Oh, yeah. Well, then he, he was like, you know, the relationship that you have with your children. You know, everybody has their support system. It doesn't need to be like of your loins for you to feel 
the love and the need to hear from them or to, you know what I mean? Shut yeah. up. Just stop with the, like, trying to up people's suffering or people's, you know what I mean? Because that's what it felt like. Yeah. And, like, if you're, honestly, if you're, like, married and you have children, I, I don't feel like you're, it's not, yeah, no. It just seems weird. It just seems weird. Do you, I don't know that sounds weird. But it's, like, if you're, like, you know, if you have this big family and you're, like, crying, like, oh, my God, I haven't talked to them in so long. It's, like, but your cup is runneth over so much when you're with them. You, like, get the fuck out of here. Like, you can't miss yeah. these five people <clears throat> or however, three people. You know what I mean? like really and then you're upset with the one person who doesn't have a boyfriend or anything who's like oh my parents or whatever it's like honey that's an alone person because they're alone and there's like but you're like oh i can't have my children i haven't been my husband okay your children and husband no are and you can tell you can tell too because there have been certain seasons that's like you said opinion. like for example there'll be like a, some 19 year old kid fresh out of college on the show and you know that is a child i don't care like he could yeah. look like a man sound like a man that's a baby and the mom comes on the island and you could see physically that's a baby that misses his his mommy and daddy you know what i mean that makes sense but like you said you have this woman who's clearly a badass bitch look how she even dealt with the obstacle she was like do do compartmentalize do 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 like women do i mean i don't want to strap onto women because they're built for it but honey you can only take the victim thing that's so why far before even when the she was audience like, i don't is have like, the letters from home and i was just like you'll you live. don't need the letters from home you'll live that's i mean i hate to say it's gonna be gross but it's like when someone's 105 and they die and it's like what does she have 20 more years you know right. it's like honey <clears throat> honey bear no i always say like even with our own family when people kind of give us the little pity or whatever it's like i don't include bubby because bubby was 94 and you know joan rivers used to have that joke what are they gonna say about me she was so young Right. She had so much to live like, honey, for. Right. Come on now. <laughs> That's Maria. what I felt with her. I was like, okay, Maria, you've like won every challenge. You've fed everybody, including yourself. And now you're like, oh, I don't get a letter. Goodbye. That's where I was at with her. I literally, she's like, my heart broken three. And I was like, I don't even want details, honey. And then at least something died in well, me and all these also, things. It was also, like, Maria. Jeff casually says it, but the truth is the first thing he said, which is, you know, what's the what's the big deal? It's only like how how many days left? Like you've already made it. Like Apparently if you're four, 20 three or four days left. Right. So honey, stop. And you're eating. You've been eating. And you have an immunity That's what I'm necklace. You've been like, eating uh, and in control. All the like you've been immune. So you yeah. haven't been stressed out. You've and been she's eating. talking like, like Hugh was talking a few episodes ago. Remember, she's like, well, my number one and my number two. It's like, oh my God, do you not hear yourself? These are the moments I talk about, or I think if you're like a super fan or you're an all-star and you're looking back, you must reflect on those moments and think, if I catch myself that comfortable, if I catch myself yeah. making these statements that sound like my first and my second, like, uh-oh, uh-oh, it sounds a little too, like that sounds too good to be true, Maria, even if it is true. Watch yourself, girl. All I say is after this, look, Charlie, she's got to win everything, otherwise they're going to get rid of her. Well, you know, I have something else to show you because controversy. I just wanted to show you like, and I hate that it's happened, but it has happened. So I'm sending you a picture of the jury. Oh, is this like and a... I'm sending... Okay. What is this? A spill I called it, tea? didn't I? Well, no, this is just me. I you predicted said the you future and that they were going to take I? literally every single person of color and get them the fuck out of there. And they did. Oh. She was the last one. Well, yeah. Well, we knew. Oh, so you're Maria. just saying. Maria, if Maria doesn't win, I'm just saying, look at the jury. And Q was just voted out. Right. And then look at who's left. And Ben is a Jew. <laughs> so You say then there's a Jew. No. Well, because, you know, he looks dark and his name, you know, it's like I was wondering. But Ben, <laughs> so. is, ben is something too, though. Ben is Katzman. Ben Katzman. So Ben is not. Oh. So Ben is like Israeli or Never something. Never mind. Ugh. <laughs> right. I'm Hello. surprised he didn't steal something of some. Um, Woo. All right. Well, we jumped all around, but yeah, Q is goodbye. Q is goodbye. Thank God. And I think Maria is kind of shooketh. Which is amazing because um, there was this moment in the the most recent episode where he's like talking he's in is in a confessional and he's talking like oh ha 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 i'm still here and okay. he was talking as though he was me? in control ha, of ha, that that would not happen he, yeah i can't remember which one yeah the, yeah look at you blah blah and yeah and yeah I was like, and you're I was not like, in um, control the, you're the goat but and I not as in the goat the way the show. this show was which is i was like okay this show really technically is because you know like rupaul's drag race you can really feel the editing like you can feel a story with this one it's the same i feel like they have never shown us where the blind side's coming from so they've never because and these people don't talk without a camera so they've never shown us the footage where they've decided we're gonna blindside 
because every episode has been a blind side. But did you see and Charlie and Q's fa- both of their faces? Every fucking idol has been like not used. Every single one. It's amazing. I just know that when each the names were coming, both Charlie and Q looked so shocked, and they were both looking at each other. <laughs> like, yeah. I was worried because I thought Q was going to use her his idol. He should have. <laughs> I really did think you know, he was going to do it. You know, if he was funny it. and clever, he would have been like, actually, that's one of those votes weren't for me. It was for the Q-skirt. Q-skirt, take it away. <laughs> Damn. But nope. But Q's he out thought of he here. was in charge. He really did, but he's just a goaty goat. And then he was dropped off at the field. We mm-hmm. pushed through that shit, so whatever. Well, I mean, we covered it, though. We covered the drama of it. Like the meat of it. That's what I feel like Survivor was more. It's better that way, I think. Word. It was more about just the feeling. The feeling. And the moments, darling. I feel like we talked about. Like we didn't talk about that Venus got blindsided, but it was like, yeah, she found the Mm -hmm. idol. Guess what? Got voted off. Guess what? Q found the idol. Guess what? Got voted off. I swear to God, I wish they would have been like, Q got the idol. That's mean. And then like, I wish something different happened, but whatever. (laughs) I mean, I was pissed that he even found it. Me too. I was hoping he would use it because then he would have changed the whole rhythm of the whole show. Something. So I wanted something to happen. Nothing. The minute Maria won the immunity again, yeah. I was like, and then Q got the idol. Honestly, what I was thinking was, holy shit, it's happening. What I said was like, they cut these people around too long yeah, and now like luck too. is That's on their thought, side. Or she these kept weird winning and happening. I was like, oh, they're screwed. It's over. And I thought Q would pull the idol and I was like, oh, here it is. But nope. No. Goodbye. And now I have to root for Maria. I mean, the truth is if I were to you? personally, t- well, I mean, I just feel like she's a fighter. So I'm I kind of like feel like, a, in, in, like with respect fan. to the game, I don't know where, I don't know. I don't she think I'd be upset if any, if any of the right people won. Now. Yeah. No. But she's got to survive. Two more eliminations. And then you have the goats that like could totally make it to finale, but they have no chance of winning. Like a Ben or a Kenzie could be taken to the final. Like they could make it just through strength and determination. They could make it to the final. But I don't think they'll be taken seriously. Yeah. Because they don't have any resume. That's what I feel like this whole... That's why Kenzie was pissed. And at this point, she's at, she hasn't collected any because Maria's just kind of taken everything. She's too busy giving Ben therapy. We're going to find out next week. Next week, we continue to talk 90 Day Fiance Love in Paradise, Episode 5. Luke is broke and staying in America. And Madeleine is the breadwinner. How's that going to work? Is Adriano serious about inviting Alex's cousin to bed? Or does editing have me fooled again? I was wondering if that was just editing. And did Kyle make a successful donation to Annie? Because Annie says, I don't want to have a child with Kyle, but we know she wants to have a child. What are you, who are you fooling, Annie? And what will Sean do when Aaliyah tells him, es ella o nada? Stay tuned. Does she say that or nothing? I thought she was just kind of like. Well, she's saying, she like literally says she's to kind him. She's kind of like, that, this is end. no more and boo, you know, Leah's the present. Yeah. But all but, or so nothing is, yeah, okay. Well, that is it. I guess you're right. Well, I, I didn't say all. I said, is her or nothing? Because it is her or nothing. It's the nothing part. Yeah. That the was like really nothing. The, well, yeah. there's nothing It else. is. You're right. There's no other. Oh my God. Douglas is gone, honey. It's true. You're right. She's tearing out the pages from the adventure book and saying <laughs> goodbye, Douglas. <laughs> goodbye. Yeah, I know. Goodbye. And next week, we have, of course, the Survivor finale. And I guess that did go pretty fast. We've watched almost every idol we have literally walk off the beach in a season full of blind sides that we've never seen, you know, how that happened. So Not thanks, every editing. single one. Not every single pretty much. one. Like, we've seen blind sides, but every single idol to walk off and it be a blind side. No, like, but I mean, what? like, we've never, but like, as an audience member, we have never seen the blind side coming ourselves. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it has been a blind side to us as an audience as well. Every single fucking one. Usually we get a little something. Sometimes it's like, we know. Or, you know, oh, it's it, no, no, blind side every time. Like, this oh, is this is a very that transparent season. <clears throat> That's all. Well, we'll be talking about the final episode and, of course, the reunion where after 29 days of starvation and sleep deprivation, the castaways will enjoy a round of pizza and maybe a little bit of licorice. <laughs> Not a full slice for everyone. Just, a, just Ooh, one of oh all God, seven of you. Oh, God. The Hunger Games level of that torture. What the fuck? Who win the title of Soul Survivor of season 46? I think Kelsey might win this shit. I do. Tune in Who's next Kelsey? week. I don't know where you we came Kenzie? with that. Kenzie? I don't know. 
I don't know what's going to happen. I'd be okay with that. I know you <laughs> look at your face. Whatever. <laughs> Tune in to see what's up. You can reach us via our <laughs> website and let us know what you want us to talk about. Or if you have something to add or a show that you want us to talk about or, you know, cover at sorry, we are late. We didn't want to be here.com or we didn't want to the number two be here.com. Find us on Spotify, YouTube, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram at we didn't want to be here. I'm Violet. I am Violet. I am Acid Betty. <laughs> and, and as, as we, we always, always say, say, goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.